all the children you must turn your videos on the children first pradeep akshita srishan kalmeshana so you must turn your videos children your in charge teacher will take attendance okay are you ready for the class shall i start the class s vishnuvardhan on your video nana meshana m vignesh ayan all are on your video samma okay so environmental studies what is our subject name environmental studies so previous i taught a lesson what is the lesson name can you say anyone what is the lesson name yeah very good our food what is the lesson name our food sixth lesson our food so in this lesson already i taught uh, food from plants what i taught food from plants i taught so today i am going to teach and uh, i taught previous class i taught beverages what is beverages leaves of some plants are used to to make drinks you know very well already i taught examples tea powder and uh, coffee coffee beans okay so next when i taught the journey of food only half of the topic i uh, yesterday i completed what is the topic name the all are listen carefully first the journey of food once i can read all the children the journey of food the journey of food so i taught the steps what is the first step can you say anyone first step rehan what is the first step what is that fluffy so the farmer sir first prepares the field by fluffy all right our previous class first uh, fluffy fluffing is a first step okay fluffing is the farmers the land what is a farms i taught farms of the farmers grow crop plants on large areas on large areas are called large areas of land are called farms so here the farmer first prepares uh, the field by plucking plucking it so you know small farmer uses axen so small farmer means i don't i taught already one acre two acre only some of the some of the farmers have only two acres land or three acres land and some of the people farmers uh, have a uh, 10 acres land 20 30 40 like that so that large areas so small farmers use oxen those are which farmers have a small land okay small uh, area so they are use the oxen but nowadays one acre or two acre or whatever it is they use tractors only nowadays they use totally tractors some of the most of the people, most of the farmers they are do not use a oxen okay so to plough their fields there are big farmers use tractors for the same ploughing purpose do you know the all i taught about the ploughing i taught about ploughing okay ploughing is a 1 acres 2 acres 3 acres like that okay and next one then he adds in this after the plucking uh, yeah very good uh, manisha after the plucking then he has he has two feet farmers okay farmers add fertilizers or manures fertilizers second one is manures or fertilizers manures and fertilizers 
All right, I taught about the manures and fertilizers to the soil to increase the yield of his crop. So when farmers are used to fertilizers, all right, I taught about the fertilizers. Why they are using fertilizers? Because of the increase the yield of crops, increase the yield of of his crop, farmer's crop. Okay. First step is pluffing. Pluffing purpose they use a uh, uh, tractors or oxen. But most today nowadays only they use the uh, tractors. Only they use the uh, tractors. Okay, children. Did you understand what I taught? So, what is the second step? Now, this is the first step. What is the first step? Pluffing. And second step is fertilizers. So then he adds after the pluffing, farmers adds manures and fertilizers to the soil to increase the yield of his crop. Increasing. Okay, children. So increase the yield of his crops. Okay. So this is the second step. And next one is third step: sowing the seeds. Sowing. So this is third step: sowing. Sowing the seeds. After a few days, after that, what is the second step? First step: plucking. And after the plucking, he uh, farmers use fertilizers. And after the fertilizers, sowing the seeds. Okay, sowing the seeds. And after a few days, the seeds germinate, and uh, small plants appear. Germination of a seed. All right, all the germination of a seed. Did you understand? Germination of a seed. You know very well. So after the when he sowing the seeds, after the sowing the seed, germinate, germinate and small plants appears. How to germinate? I know. I am not taught. So this is the seed. Baby shoot, baby root. I said no. Shoot system and root system. Okay. Shoot system is above the soil. Okay. Shoot system is above the soil. The plant grow above the soil, and root system under the soil. Okay, under the soil, root system and shoot system. Okay, I explained this already in uh, previous lesson. Did you understand all the children? So shoot system and root system. So now what we are explaining third step. What is the third step? Sowing the seeds, sowing the seeds. So after few days, first step is plucking. Plucking means you know very well. What plucking means? What is the meaning of Telugu? Dunnam. Okay. Did you understand now? Yeah, very good. Fertilizers. You know very well. Fertilizers means in Telugu, erugulu. And after that, sowing the seeds. What? With uh, the where? That is called in Telugu sowing. Okay, next one we'll see. After the few days, after new plants will appear. Okay, germinate and small plants appear. Next step. What is the fourth step? Irrigating. Now here I am telling irrigating. Irrigating means what is the meaning of irrigating, children? The third step, fourth step is irrigating the crop. Means the young plants. When it is young plants, what I say, germinate and small plants appear. So these small plants regularly watering, watering the watering regularly, watered regularly, and sprayed with the pesticides also. Pesticides means some of the chemicals. You know, some of the insects are attacked. Okay, some of the insect insects are attacked. That is why they use pesticides. 
what here in this irrigating time irrigating time they used the pesticides some of the insects are attack the uh, small plants no that is why they use pesticides and regularly watered regularly the small plants alapram pavan listen carefully don't see here and there vishnu and maheshwari look at the board what i am telling listen first it is very step wise i am explaining children so you must listen okay so irrigating means the the end plants are watered regularly and sprayed and sprayed pesticides and insecticides to keep them safe from insects you are for your for example in your house anyone your for example some anyone house uh, have farmers they are using the language purgula mandu and uh, like that so that is pesticides in english okay pesticides are used and uh, regularly watering that small plants did you understand children first one is plucking the field okay second one is use the fertilizers on that the plucking field and after sowing the seeds when uh, whether after the few days after new plants small plants appeared and after irrigating irrigating means all that right or just now what is that water uh, watered regularly and use spray spray the pesticides and insecticides because of safe from the insects okay keep them safe from the insects that is why they spray the pesticides and insecticides did you understand i am so par when i am okay here i am telling the journey of food how we get food you know very well today december 23rd farmers day so our lesson also same i am telling about the farmers only now how your if for example in your house any farmers are there how they are hard work see that first plucking manual so many steps are there still okay how they are hard working now here i am explaining and steps also here i am explaining okay so irrigating irrigating means they water regularly water in the plants small plants and use pesticides and insecticides so these are the chemicals because of keep them safe from insects okay keep them safe from insects okay next step next step is fifth one they using harvesting fifth step is harvesting so now here i am telling harvesting means harvesting the crops grow in about 6 months the crops grow about 6 months they are then ready to be cut so 6 months after so uh, irrigating 6 months irrigation only irrigating irrigating 6 months okay and after the 6 months the crops grow in about 6 months after the 6 months so in this middle stop the watering uh, water the plants because of dry month uh, that paddies came no so that is why some days only one month or two months uh, stop the water because of uh, dry we want the paddies paddy means you know very well paddy paddy means you know very well this word but you don't know maybe uh, in telugu you know very well paddy means vadlu okay yeah very good so to be cut so they are then in harvesting then fifth step time in this time in this fifth step they are ready to be cut what food so that is only paddy the fifth step is harvesting cutting the crops cutting the in this step fifth step cutting the crops okay cutting the crops
frogs did you understand all the children what is the first step fluffing the field and second step use the fertilizers and third step sowing the seeds and irrigating fourth step is irrigating irrigating means regularly water in the plants and they spray the pesticides and insecticides because of uh, keep them from insects keep them safe from insects and next one is after the harvesting after the 6 months cutting the they are ready to be uh, what they are ready to be cut so that is only harvesting so this is cutting the crops okay cutting the crops next step is threshing sixth step what is the sixth step threshing once read again threshing read again threshing okay after the crops have been harvested means cutting the crops after okay grains are separated from the plants first what they do they are cutting the crops all crops for example now here i draw the paddy plant what uh, so these all are the paddies no you know very well so like this so here they cutting harvesting with the machine or a with hand by hand also okay so cutting the crops and after after the crops have been harvested grains are separated from the plant in this threshing time separate grains are separated from the plants grains are separated from the plants grains are separated from the plants did you understand all the children what here i explain threshing threshing means grains are separated from the plant did you understand all the children what here i explained plucking manures and fertilizers sowing irrigating harvesting threshing and removing the husk for the clean clean grains clean grains removing the husk husk means what is the meaning of husk you know very well that uh, in telugu pottu bari pottu okay so remove that husk from the grains okay children did you understand what here i am telling okay so this is called as winnowing seventh step winnowing so remove the husk is removed so that husk remove that is only called as winnowing okay children removing the husk for the clean grains did you did not understand means children see this is a body of for, for example like one body here i am drawing so this is body but when we are remove this one i am removing this now sir so this is a food grain body body means badlu no badla nunchi manam bm chestam no so that is only here remove the husk okay remove the husk and the clean grains are, are comes out so when we are remove the husk clean grains are come out so that is only rice did you understand that is only rice so that process is called as winnowing what is that process is called as winnowing winnowing means what is the meaning of winnowing removing the husk for the clean grains Husk for the clean grains are called the winnowing. Okay, now the crops are ready to pack it and they send the resellers. Okay, these all are the steps of the journey of food. What is the first step? Pluffing. First, pluffing the fields with the tractor or oxen. Next, they add farmers are farmers adds. 
fertilizers or man and manures. Okay, and after sowing the seeds. Okay, after the sowing the seeds, after irrigating. Irrigating means the regularly water the regularly. Okay, regularly watering the plants. So they use pesticides and insecticides to keep them safe from insects. Okay, and next one is harvesting. Cutting the crops after the dry after. Dry grass come after cutting the crops. Then it cutting the crops after again threshing. Threshing means separated from the crop to separated the grain sir. Again, okay children. So nowadays have a machines. Grass machines are there. So that is only using. But in that older times they use hand and cut there. Cut the grass. Okay, children. Did you understand? So these all are the steps. And next one, threshing after winnowing. After remove the husk, and the came comes out clean grains out. So that is only rice. So these are uh, now the crops are ready to be packed and sent to the market on the tractor or truck or bullock cart. These all are used and sent to the market, and the crop is transported to the wholesale market or a mandi. And next last step, the eighth one is mandi. So wholesale shop retailers they are given that uh, uh, rice, and uh, from the wholesale market dispute the stuff is bought by the retailer. We buy the food stuff from the Retailer, we are buying from the retailers too. We are buying. Okay, did you understand, children? So far, now who are grows crops? Farmers grows crops. Okay, farmers grow crops in their fields, and after it's given wholesalers buy and uh, transport the food items from the fields to the wholesale market. From the wholesale market, to again they get. Uh, Shop and from the shop to we we are uh, uh, buy. Okay, so this is a total process of the journey of food. It is so hard work, no? But we are what we have to do. If rice, uh, we take the more rice, and uh, how much we want you? We eat that much, and again remaining rice total we send we throw outside. Is this correct, children? Is this correct? No, it is not correct because how much you want the rice, you take that much only. Don't take more rice and don't throw the outside because see, just now here I taught a uh, many steps. So all the farmers are doing these all the steps. Each and every farmer. Okay, that is why children don't waste your food. How much you want, you take that much only rice. Not only the rice, even vegetables, whatever it is. Okay, so three zero zero. Okay, children, did you understand all the children? Today's topic is the journey of food. So today onwards, I think I hope all the children not waste food. Do not waste food. You eat how much you want, that much only you take in your plate and eat. And if you want more rice, again you take. But uh, at that time you don't take that, and afterwards you don't throw the rice and don't waste your food. Okay, children, did you understand all the children? Dumma ti mani ti pradi. Did you understand today's topic? Still, if you have any doubts, please raise your hand on your mobile, children. If still, if you have any doubts, raise your hand on your mobile. Vennela means Bhavya Sri. श्री हेच श्रीशां मेषना वंदना वर्षिता हुई रेहमान न्यू बॉय ओके नेक्स्ट जोया मालिका डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल द चिल्ड्रन नना स्टिल इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स रेज योर हैंड कोमली पवन आयरपुरम पवन टुडे जस्ट आई टॉक द जर्नी ऑफ फूड 
first one is once again I am reading children fluffing fluffing the field yeah second one is fertilizers after add fertilizers and next third one is sowing sowing the seeds next fourth one irrigating irrigating means water regularly okay small plant came no so that small plant water regularly and uh, use pesticides spray the pesticides means that is chemical because of keep them safe from insects next one is harvesting harvesting means cutting the crops and after threshing threshing means separate the grains grains are separated from the cutting crop okay and after winnowing that is only winnowing grains are separated from the plant so eighth one is mandi mandi means the grains are uh, ret wholesale uh, retailers uh, take that that is only mandi m a n d i wholesale uh, wholesale buy and the uh, transporting food items did you understand today topic vandana and varshita so you must read the textbook all the children and first lesson too i did not uh, complete your text i did not tell any bits children because of you read the textbook and write the bits that is why any textbook bits i am not explaining because of you are not reading if i am telling means what you are reading so most of the children textbooks uh, i saw they are not writing all right fill in the blanks and everything these all are have in your textbook when you are read the textbook you can you can read that bits all you can write the bits all okay so you must read the textbook all the children and i gave hard words also many times okay children thank you i hope you all are understood very well today's topic tomorrow i will continue this lesson thank you children